Hi there, I'm Hannah Tana and welcome to the Then and Now Show. Today's Then and Now Show features the decade 1910 to 1919, also known as a decade of great change. As usual, we are going to feature lots of day-to-day -day stuff, things that we see every day and learn a bit of history behind them. So join me on another fun learning adventure here on Then and Now. Today's program, we're going to need a little help from our neighborhood grocery store. We're here at the biscuit aisle and, oh, Gracie, what are you doing here? Um, how did you get here so fast? We didn't thank you. We're on the Then and Now show. How about you? I'm here grocery shopping with Daddy. What do you have there? My favorite cookies. What are they doing? Wait a minute, I hear my binder saying something. It's telling me that Lorna Dean was invented in the 1910s. Here's a picture of it back then. It's that all? Well, I still like it. It's still good. Gracie, here's another fact. Oreos were also invented that decade, too. Wow, a lot of yummy things were invented. Cool. Oh, Grace. Okay, Gracie, I've got to move along now. See you later. Where'd she go? We're here in the medicine aisle, and look. Oh, aspirin. According to my binder, it's telling me that... Ew, aspirin used to be in powder form. It was invented in 1915. I'm glad that it's now tablet form. I couldn't imagine taking this for my fever and tasting all that bitterness. Oh look, Maxima. My binder says that in 1914, druggist George Bunting invented a sunburn ointment. It also happened to cure a disease called eczema, which is like a skin rash. One user said it knocks out eczema. You get it? Nox, eczema, noxema. That was then, but today noxema is used for deep cleansing cream and all that stuff. Oh, Tylenol. My binder is telling me not much, but it's telling me that something really big happened. It was a flu epidemic. Over a thousand people died in the United States. This happened in 1918. If they had Tylenol back then, then it would prevent lots of deaths. Too bad they didn't have it back then. So here comes flu season. Don't be scared of flu shots, okay? Let's move along. Oh, dancing, that reminds me of the tango. My binder's getting really excited. It's telling me that in the 1910s, the tango was really big. Well, I guess it's time to go, but my binder's saying something. What? Oh, the exit sign. What about the exit sign? Fire. The Triangle Shirtwaist Factory caught fire on March 25th, 1911 and killed more than 140 people. This prompted the creation of new building, fire, and safety codes around the U.S. So a lot of the fire preventive measures we have now, we have now most probably originated from that big fire in 1911. Wow, didn't we learn a lot of cool, cool things? Well, that's a wrap for today's show on Then and Now. Next week, we'll show another new decade. Well, this is Hannah Tan bidding you goodbye and God bless you.